So let's start with the first part of the project, which is the manual redesign of an axle fan baseline impeller. And these are the specifications for this baseline impeller, which is basically a propeller type axle fan. And from these specs, we can see that the fan actually sits uh, very close to the cordial line and uh, well within the axle fan speed number limit. And so this means that using these specs, it should be possible to design an axle fan with a, with a high efficiency level. And in fact, using our mainline code Turbo Design Pre, it's uh, very easy to, uh, to, to enter the given specs and then it quickly generates the meridional shape of the fan in less than a second. And then as you can see here, it also provides a detailed report. Uh, including the estimated total to total and total to total uh, total to static efficiencies as well as the required RVT star at the hub mid span in the shroud which is equivalent to the work coefficient and uh, will be used for the 3D inverse design of the blade in the next slide. So this is the setup for the baseline impeller in our 3D inverse design software Turbo Design 1 and this axial core distribution actually comes from the mainline code as we saw earlier and the spanwise rvt star is actually forced vortex and so it's um, low at the hub with a linear variation and uh, high at the tip and also the loading distribution in this baseline case is forloaded at the shroud and uh, aft loaded at the hub and then these inputs re result in this 3d geometry of the baseline fan which we are going to redesign in this project and so before the redesign, a CFD analysis was run on the baseline fan to check the performance. And uh, for this, we used ANSYS Turbo Grid for the fully structured grid generation and CFX for the flow analysis. And then here are the different results for the baseline design. So first we have the Turbo Design 1 performance parameters where we can see that the diffusion ratio is quite high. And uh, also we have the CFD results here and clearly both the total to total and total to static efficiency levels are uh, much lower compared to the mainline code estimation uh, which was about 92 percent and 30 percent respectively and so clearly there is a scope for improvement in the performance and we looked at the blade loading on the baseline design which was foreloaded at the hub and after loaded at the um, uh, foreloaded at the shroud after loaded at the hub and we started doing a parametric study. For this, we first kept the force vortex distribution for the spanwise RV theta and essentially just changed the blade loading. So the first redesign we did was to change the blade loading to four loaded at both the hub and the shroud. And uh, you can also see these relative velocity plots from the inviscid flow analysis in TD1, which clearly show that the hub loading is uh, increased in the front portion and reduced in the aft portion because of this change in the blade loading. And by doing this, what we saw is a slight reduction in the diffusion and the profile loss and a corresponding increase in the total to total efficiency and the pressure rise levels in the CFD results, but um, still very far from the target of 92% that we got from the mainline code. Then what we did was we did another redesign uh, where, where again we kept the same RV theta, the forced vortex distribution, but we increased the leading edge loading in, uh, in Turbo Design 1. So by, increase this, in, by increasing this loading, you actually design with uh, positive incidence. So if you design with zero loading, you actually get zero incidence. But if you are designing with positive loading, you, you get a positive incidence. And uh, this is also reflected in these plots where we can now see uh, a gap at the leading edge uh, throughout the span. And again, we saw a further reduction in the profile and the leakage losses and uh, some improvements in the total, total efficiency, but uh, still far from the target of 92%. And then in the last step of the manual redesign, what we did was uh, we changed the spanwise RV theta distribution from uh, forced vortex to uh, parabolic. So what we did in redesign three was we kept the same loading as the redesign two, but we just changed the spanwise RV theta to this parabolic distribution. And so the relative velocity distribution uh, only changes very slightly from redesign 2 because uh, we didn't really change the blade loading 
only the span wise work and in fact this has quite a major effect uh, this reduces both the profile and the leakage losses and um, as a result it improves the efficiency as well as the pressure rise level significantly and uh, one of the reasons why this was the case was obviously in these type of fans the the leakage loss has a major effect and uh, by unloading the tip region using that parabolic span wise rv theta distribution that we used uh, you actually end up reducing the tip leakage losses that has a very major effect on the overall efficiency